Colorado High School Activities Association basketball is on 1010 KSIR and on the World Wide Web at KSIR.com. Tonight, from Valley High School in Gilcrest, it's a Patriot League clash as the visiting Brush Bee Diggers take on the Lady Vikings of Valley. I'm John Beltran. As the Lady Bee Diggers come off a resounding victory on Tuesday night, 59-14 to at Frontier Academy. They're four and two in the Patriot League, five and three overall. Valley is two and three in league play, three and five on the season. B Digger starting lineup tonight brought to you by Equitable Savings and Loan. Proud to be Northeast Colorado's locally owned hometown savings and loan with locations in Fort Morgan, Sterling, and Brush. Available 24 7 for your banking needs. The B Diggers go with a sophomore in the backcourt, Sidney Odell, along with junior Aurora Thomas and sophomore Maddie Rule, lots of talented underclassmen Callie Bills and Cammie Sweeney seniors in the front court, keep in mind Lauren Berg not in uniform and not in uniform because of a sprained ankle that was sustained here on Tuesday against Frontier Academy All right, apparently now we've just gotten the starting lineup here for the Valley Vikings. We'll set it up here momentarily. They go with a 6-2 point guard in Kelsey Ray, along with Mackenzie Bond, a 5-7 junior. And also taking the floor, Gabrielle Rios. Along with Jolene Rutherford. And finally for Valley, Cheyenne Rutherford. Opening tip is controlled by Valley and Ray. And that was brought to you by Buildings by Design, the experience to complete your project from start to finish. Get the quality you deserve with Buildings by Design. Ray has the ball stripped away. Cammie Sweeney has it. First turnover, 15 seconds into the game. Odell, high right to Thomas. She'll take a long three. Yes! Aurora Thomas scores. And the Bee Diggers have the first points. Backcourt pressure being applied with a basketball in the backcourt. is going to be Cheyenne Rutherford. Over to Jolene, still trying to break the timeline. Does to the other Rutherford. Into the front court near the top of the basketballs. Jolene Rutherford on the outside right to Rios. Rios against Odell. Over to Jolene in the left corner. Here's the shot inside off the pass from Rutherford over to Bond. She misses the rebound pulled away by Rule to Thomas. She banks and misses. Rebound to Sweeney. Banks and scores with the left hand. Cammie Sweeney. And the Bee Diggers now lead 5 0. More backcourt pressure being applied by Brush as they did in Greeley against Frontier Academy. And the ball is thrown away in the backcourt. And the Bee Diggers have forced Valley's second turnover. And here comes Thomas the other way. Brush going for their sixth win of the year. Rule on the high right to Thomas. Back to her left. Cross court pass to Odell behind the three-point line. Left to the free throw line. Down low. Sweeney then throws up an air ball from about seven feet away. Bills tries to save it in, but off the back of the backboard. Out of bounds. It'll be Valley basketball. And to throw it in will be Cheyenne Rutherford in the backcourt. Here is Jolene. Baseball pass front court. And Ray tries to chase it down and does, but saves it in to a bead digger in Callie Bills. Third turnover. Thomas the other way for Valley. Or check that for Brush, and then she throws it away. Intended on the high left for Sidney Odell. And the bead diggers commit their first turnover. 6.21 to go in the opening quarter. And Brush leads Valley 5 to nothing. The inbounds pass goes into Jolene Rutherford. Rutherford in the backcourt, jump pass tipped away by Rule, taken by Thomas, down low to Rule, she dribbles, and then she was fouled as she tried to go for the shot. Fourth turnover by the Vikings, and the foul was committed by Jolene Rutherford. She did not get the shot off, so inbounds underneath the basket for Maddie Rule. Rule looking. At the top here is Sweeney shot around and no good from 10 feet away. Rebound to Rule. She turns. She misses that shot. Sweeney has the rebound. Kicks it back out. Knocked out of bounds by Rutherford. It will stay with the B-Diggers. 
And to throw it in, in front of the Valley bench near the corner is Odell. On the outside left, Thomas. Thomas looks down low, swings it right side to Rule. She'll take a three, and that's well off to the right. And the ball's out of bounds. That is off of Cali Bills. It'll be Valley basketball with 5.56 to go in the opening quarter. Brush 5, Valley nothing. And Cheyenne Rutherford to throw it in over to Jolene. Still in the backcourt. Jump pass front court is going to be off the foot. Looks like a Mackenzie Bonds out of bounds. And turnover number five for Valley. They've gotten off only one shot in the first two minutes and ten seconds. And the B-Diggers come the other way with that pressure being very effective on the defensive end. On the high left, Odo, wide open three, in and out. And the ball is knocked out of bounds by Bond. And the B-Diggers once again retain possession. Roll to throw it in. Underneath the basket, at the top for Thomas. Thomas lobs it down low for Sweeney. Dribbles, kicks it out to Rule. Wide open right wing three is off the back of the rim. The Big Diggers have missed a few of those. Mackenzie Bond with a rebound for Valley. Quickly, here comes Rutherford. Jolene Rutherford on the outside right to Rios. Guarded by Rule. They've attempted just one shot in the early going. Over to Ray. Ray towards the top. Baseball pass down low intended for Bond out of bounds. Turnover number six for the Vikings. And they've got to find their offensive rhythm with Brush leading 5 to nothing, with 5-12 to go. Thomas, high right, guarded by Rios. Back to the top to Rule. On the high left to Odo, behind the three-point line. At the free throw line, bounce pass to Thomas. Right wing three, yes! Nothing but string for Aurora Thomas. Her second triple of the game, and the B-Diggers lead 8 to nothing. Rutherford in the backcourt, pressured by Rule. Baseball pass front court towards Bond. Dribbles the ball off her foot, gets it back, kicks it to Ray at the free throw line. 15-foot rainbow is off to the left. And the ball is loose on in the corner. Rebounded by Rios. Back out to Ray. Wide open. The shot is up and in off the glass. And that is made over there by Cheyenne Rutherford. First points for Valley. Brush the other way. Cross court pass towards Odo. Out of bounds. Into the crowd. Beat Diggers turn it over for the second time in the game. Whether you're in the market to purchase a new or pre-owned vehicle, early Toyota East and Fort Morgan will fit you into the car, truck of your choice, serving all of Northeast Colorado. Early Toyota East Valley calls a quick 30-second timeout with the Bee Diggers up 8-2 to two, with four and a half to go in the opening quarter. And this is the type of start that Brush got off to on Tuesday night, but even better than that is they were up 19 to nothing after one against Frontier Academy, 33-3 to at the break and won by 45. Valley's got a little bit more talent, so it won't be that easy for the Bay Diggers in this game coming up tonight. No question about that. But so far, the defense has been smothering. Yeah, they only allowed a basket there because they had a blown coverage on the Back end of the far side here on defense. Cheyenne Rutherford to throw it in. Still in the backcourt along the side. Gets it into Rios. And Rios will set it up. Into the front court to Jolene Rutherford. Picked up by Thomas. Swings it right side to Rios. Just holding that ball. Taking her time. Back near the top to Ray. Bounce pass inside, poked away by Odell, and taken away by Sweeney. Turnover number seven. Here is Rule, two on one to Thomas, lays it up off the bottom of the rim. Rebound to Rule, banks, and misses, but she's fouled. Maddie Rules grabbed three rebounds. She'll step to the stripe. The foul was committed by Rios. That's her first. The Aurora Thomas three-pointer tonight was brought to you by MMI International. When buying a mixer or feeder truck, nothing compares to the MMI design craftsmanship and service. Your operation deserves the best. MMI International 842-5161. First free throw is in. Molly Link into the game for Cindy Odell. With the Bee Diggers now in the lead by a score of 9-2. Second free throw is rattles in. 10-2 brush. The press being applied. Backcourt pressure into Jolene Rutherford. Guarded there by Segelke just into the game. And then she double dribbled. Eighth turnover for Valley. And we played exactly four minutes. And Kenzie Ray is now into the contest for Valley. 
Roll into Sweeney. Little 10-footer good on that left block off the inbounds pass. A catch and shoot. And Cammy Sweeney now has four. The B-Diggers lead by 10, 12-2. Ray right baseline against Sweeney. Turn, shoots, air ball. And the ball is loose, and it's knocked out of bounds by Molly Link. And to throw it in will be Gabrielle Rios for Valley. 3.45 to go in the first, brushed by 10. Looking, still looking. Bounce pass off the right foot. Well, it looked like it went off the right foot of Rutherford, but apparently a beat digger touched it after that. So Rios to throw it in again as the ball went out of bounds. There's the bounce pass, and that one did go off the right leg of Cheyenne Rutherford out of bounds. The same pass and a different result. No B digger touched at that time. Nine turnovers. Front court pass to Link on the outside right. Free throw line. Sweeney, 15 footer. Line drive, no good. Ball tipped around by Segelke. Loose on the floor, out of bounds. Nobody else tipped it after that. And it will be Valley basketball. To throw it in along the side in the back court is Cheyenne Rutherford. Jump pass poked away by Aurora Thomas, but loose in the front court and is taken away by the Vikings. Little 15 footers up and in. And that was made by Kenzie Ray. 12-4 brush, 3.19 to go in the opening quarter. Rule on the outside right behind the three-point line. At the top for Link. Link lobs at free throw line for Sweeney. Inside to Rule. Turns, banks, misses the easy shot. And the rebound is into the hands of Kenzie Ray. And then we got a timeout, full timeout, called by the Vikings. Let's take it with them. We have 3.07 to go here in the opening quarter. It's a one-minute break. Brush 12, Valley 4 on 10-10 KSIR and KSIR.com. John Beltran back in Gilcrest, 12-4 brush over Valley. Backcourt pressure being applied by Segelke. Kenzie Ray has the basketball, and she traveled. And already 10 turnovers committed by the Vikings here in the first 4 minutes and 58 seconds to throw it in as rule. Rush has actually missed quite a few shots, especially for the outside. Rule lobs it to Sweeney. Little 10-footer, good. A few feet inside the free throw line. Sweeney again, a catch and shoot from Rule. She's got six, leading all scores. Beat diggers by 10 once again. Ray, cross-court pass, front court to Rios. Backs up, can't take that three. Picked up by Rule on the outside left. Back out to Kenzie Ray, just beyond the timeline. Setting up that offense for Valley. Out there with her sister Kelsey Ray. Gabrielle Rios back to Kenzie. Got two Rutherfords and two Rays, and now Valley's going to really slow this down. Pass right side, knocked out of bounds by Thomas into the B-Digger bench. And to trigger it in will be Cheyenne Rutherford. Here's the pass into Kenzie Ray on the high right. The B-Diggers in a 2-3. Inside pass poked away by Rule and taken away by Link to Rule to Thomas into the lane. She's got to get out of the lane. Now to Segelke, 10-footer, is in and out. Left side, ball is tipped around. Sweeney banks and scores. Oh, she tipped the rebound to herself, and Sweeney's had a big, big game here. She's got eight points to go along with three rebounds. Steal, Rule's going to bank and score. Off a of B-Digger steal in the backcourt. Can't write the numbers fast enough here. 18 to 4. Minute 56 to go here in the opening uh, quarter. Steal by Rule in the backcourt. She banks and scores again off the baseball pass from Rutherford. And Rule now with six in the opening quarter. Backcourt pressure being applied. And Kenzie Ray is stripped taken by Reels and fouled by Segelke. And Segelke commits the first foul by the Bee Diggers in the game. Valley's committed two. Mackenzie Bond will check in for Cheyenne Rutherford. Gabrielle Reels. Looks like she'll take a seat on the bench as well. It will be Valley basketball. Brush leads 20-4 to with a minute 43 to go in the opening quarter. Inbounds pass intercepted by Segelke. Bounce pass for Maddie Rule. She banks and she misses. Segelke with a rebound put back, and she scores in a foul. And to the line is Quincy Segelke. And the Valley foul was committed by Kenzie Ray. That's her first. Segelke scores for the first time in the game. The bead diggers are on a 10-0 run. And the free throw by Segelke is off to the right. Did not hit rim, and it was a lane violation anyway. It's Bill Segelke, Link, Thomas, and Maddie Rule for brush. The bead diggers will certainly clear the bench tonight. Up by 18 with a minute 36 to go in the opening quarter. Kenzie Ray with a basketball. 
on the high right, picked up by Link. Lob down low. He got a push from behind. Second team foul against the B-Diggers on that entry pass towards Kelsey Ray. I think Bills is in violation there, and she is. To the left of the basket underneath, it'll be Gabrielle Rios to trigger it in. Holding the ball up high. Bounce pass inside. Wide open is Ray, and she's fouled from behind by Segoki. She had the position. Segoki commits her second. And Kelsey Ray will be shooting a deuce. Yeah, that's the, the one thing you never want to do off an inbounds pass is let the offender in front of you when the basket's right in front of them. The free throw is in. The B Digger lead is down to 17, 22 to 5. You need your vehicle and farm equipment to be in top shape, so make sure you take care of them by purchasing the best quality parts at great prices at your local Napa store, Central Auto Parts in Fort Morgan. Second free throw is missed. Rebound to Bills. Right wing, Thomas three, is off to the left. Ball is loose on the floor. Molly Link chases it down in the corner. Bounce pass for Segelke. Turns, banks, and scores. Segelke with a hook. She's got four. And Brush now leads by 19, their biggest advantage, 24 to 5, a minute 7 to go. In the opening quarter, on the outside left, penetrating is Rutherford. Back out to Ray. Check that. Yeah, that is Ray. Against Link, swings it left side to Rios. Under a minute to go in the first. Matty Rule strips it away. The ball's loose on the floor, and there's a tie up. And possession arrow is pointing towards Brush. Sydney Odles back in for Matty Rule. And Aurora Thomas will trigger it in in the backcourt along the side to Sydney Odell, the sophomore. On the outside right to Thomas. In the right corner for Segelke, holding the ball up high. Down low for Bills to Segelke, right baseline shot, air ball. Rebound into the hands or just the board itself to Jolene Rutherford. Over to Kenzie Ray, met at midcourt by Link. On the high right with a basketball, baseball pass inside, tipped away by Segelke. She went over the back. That's going to be the third foul on Segelke. That could land her on the bench. That's 14 fouls against the B-Diggers all in the last minute plus. Rios to throw it in. Checking in will be Sweeney. Right corner for Cheyenne Rutherford. Baseball pass for Jolene Rutherford. At the top for Kenzie Ray. Clock is not restarted. The clock that should have restarted. And about seven seconds of game time went off. Yep, and they're going to set that back up to about 25 seconds to go. 25.6. And Segelke is out. That allows Sweeney to come in. And just beyond midcourt, Rios to throw it in. Rios with the basketball. Into Kenzie Ray. She'll take a straightaway three. That's off to the right. And Molly Link has the one-handed rebound, her second board. There's the outlet to Thomas. Thomas into the front court, chest pass. Outside left to Odell. Back out to Thomas. Left wing three is off to the right. And the rebound is wrestled away over there by the Valley Vikings and Cheyenne Rutherford. Long baseball pass to Bond out of bounds from Jolene Rutherford. And that's the end of the opening quarter. The B-Diggers dominate. They outscore Valley by 19. It's brush 24, Valley 5 in a one-minute break on 1010KSIR and KSIR.com. Lady Bee Diggers led by 19 points after one on Tuesday night. That's the same story tonight, 24-5 with the Valley Vikings. Here as we go to the second quarter in Gilcrest. And we have a traveling violation off the inbounds pass by Cheyenne Rutherford. That is turnover number 16 already. And keep in mind that that's two turnovers a minute at this point. For Valley. Here comes Odell the other way, and she shuffled her feet for no reason. Only the third turnover for Brush. It's Rule, Link, Bills, Odell, and Sweeney for Brush. Mackenzie Bond, Kelsey Ray, Cheyenne Rutherford, Jolene Rutherford, and Gabrielle Rios for the Vikings. Dressed in their home whites, the Bee Diggers in their road maroons. Bond, baseball pass inside on the bounce, intercepted by Sweeney. Turnover number 17. There's Odell the other way at the top of the three-point circle. Backs up against Rutherford. Bounce pass right side. Rule holds the ball up high. Cross court over to Link. Penetrates left baseline. Then is cut off. Bounce pass back out to Bills. Maintains the dribble. Looking, she'll take the three, and it's off to the left. Rebound to Sweeney. Banks, and she misses. And the ball is loose on the floor and rebounded by Rutherford. Giant Rutherford comes away with the basketball. Valley the other way. Jolene just beyond midcourt. Swings it left side for Cheyenne Rutherford. Dribbling to her right. 
Cross court to Rios. Still 24 to 5. A minute 15 into the second quarter to Bond. Back out to Rios. Rios maintains the dribble against Odo. High left for Kenzie Ray. And that was a big time dribble. And fa- uh, travel, I should say, by Kelsey Ray. And it was a big time dribble, but after about two steps. So here we go with Matty Rule to trigger it into Odo. Odo at the top, bounce pass on the outside right to Rule. Holds the ball up high, right of the free throw line. Bills 15 footer is partially blocked and taken away by Kenzie Ray. Outlet into the front court to Jolene Rutherford. Now to Kenzie Ray, guarded tightly by Link, dribbles by Link, pulls up inside the three point line, throws up an air ball, and for some reason, Sydney Odell tried to save it in unless she thought it was partially blocked. It'll be Valley basketball as the ball went out of bounds, and Gabrielle Rios to throw it in. Looking down low, bounce pass inside for Kelsey Ray. She banks and she misses, gets the rebound, then she's hacked. And again, that's the second time in the game that the They've allowed an offender to get right in front of the defender in the basket. Callie Bills commits the foul. That is her second. Kelsey Ray is one out of two from the line. And the free throw is off the right side of the rim. Find out why Morgan Community College is the best choice for your higher education. Visit MCC online at morgancc.edu. Or stop by the campus for a personal advising session. Second free throw back rimmed. And the ball is poked out of bounds by Mackenzie Bond, B-Digger basketball. And Kendall Elliott, who played quite a bit the other night in the second half, will play in the first half here as the freshman steps in for Brush. And she replaces Callie Bills. Here's Maddie Rule, who had six points in the opening quarter. Swings it left side to Odo, behind the three-point line, at the free throw line, jump pass to Rule in the right corner. On the high right to Link, lobs it down low for Sweeney, turns, double team, now to Odell straight away. Odell, right corner pass for Matty Rule, penetrates right baseline all the way, scoops it up off the front of the rim, no good. And the rebound into the hands to Jolene Rutherford. Harassed by Rule in the backcourt, now she sags into the front court as Rutherford over to Kenzie Ray. Picked up just beyond midcourt by Molly Link, she picks up the dribble. Free throw line pass tipped away by Odell, taken by Rio, stolen by Link. 19 turnover for Valley. Odo all the way from Link. Has the shot partially blocked. It's taken by Rule. She misses. Taken by Link. She banks and scores. Molly Link with her first points of the game. The B-Diggers now lead 26-5. Those were the opening points here of the second quarter with 5-17 to go. On the outside left is Rios behind the three-point line. Back out to Jolene Rutherford. Now to Kenzie Ray right at the free throw line. And then she came down with a basketball as she tried to put up a shot. And it never left her hand. Turnover number 20. The Bay Diggers lead by 21. Thomas will get ready to check back in momentarily. Odell into Matty Rule. The Bay Diggers took off the press after the opening quarter. On the outside right to Link. Well behind that three-point line. Dribbles to her left. Cross-court pass to Odell. Odell on the high left puts up a rainbow three that banks and misses. And the Valley rebound is into the hands of Kenzie Ray, her third. Into the front court. She's got three on three. Middle of the lane. Picked up by Link. Now she sacks. 15-footer is around and no good. Strong side rebound to Kendall Elliott to Brush. The Bay Diggers come the other way on the outlet to Rule. 4.45 to go in the second. Brush 26, Valley 5. Rule on the outside right. Gets a pick from Link. Maintains the dribble. Kicks it cross court to Odell. Left baseline to Elliott. Little five-footer is short. Rebound to Sweeney. Banks and she... Scores. Sat on the lip of the rim, but Sweeney knocked it down. Ten points and five rebounds. Brushed by 23 with 4.20 to go in the second. The other way with the basketball is Kenzie Ray on the high right. B-Digger still in that 2-3. Cross court to Rios. Lob down low for Bond. Picked up by Sweeney. Banks and scores. Well, that was not an easy shot for Bond. She kind of threw it up there, but it went in. First points for Valley in the second quarter, 28-7. to seven. Four minutes to go. Link, long three, is hit nothing but backboard off the outside right there, and the rebound into the hands of Rutherford. Jolene with her third. Outlet pass to Rios. Rios into the front court with the basketball. At the top, here is Ray with a 16-footer missed, and the rebound controlled by Molly Link. She had about seven or eight the other night. Outlet to Odell. Hands it off to Rule. Left wing, three, in and out. Rebound to Sweeney. Banks and scores. She had position, and she scored a lot to the right of the basket. 12 points and six rebounds. Brush 30, Valley 7. 
We've got 325 remaining second quarter in Gilcrest. Across the timeline is Jolene Rutherford. On the outside right to Kenzie Ray. Holding the ball up high. Now picked up by Odell. Picks up the dribble. Cross court to Rios. Rule right on top of her. Now back on the outside right to Ray. Nearly traveled. Boy, Odell's almost too close. Got to watch out not commit the foul. Baseball pass thrown to Jolene Rutherford. Back out to Kenzie Ray. Three minutes to go in the second. Valley taking their time on this possession. Picks up the dribble just beyond midcourt. Baseball pass outside right to Rutherford, guarded by Elliott. Into the lane to Rios, little seven-footer off the back of the rim. And the rebound into the hands of Molly Link, once again her fifth. Here is Cammie Sweeney. She picks up her dribble just into the front court. Back out to Rule, outside right to Odo. Wide open three. She'll take it, and she'll make it. But she went glass there. I don't think she called it, but that's just an old saying. You don't have to do that. Rush 33, Valley 7, 2.24 to go. Bounce pass inside, poked away by Sweeney. Elliott tried to grab it, went right in between her legs out of bounds. Valley retains possession. And Cheyenne Rutherford back into the game and also in. It looks like a junior varsity player in there for Valley. We'll have to find out who that is. Inbounds pass intercepted by Maddie Rule ahead to Thomas. The defense catches up. Thomas dribbles into the lane, banks, and scores. Holy Mahungus Rutherford just laid off, and that was a defensive lapse. And because of that play, Valley calls a 30-second timeout. Head coach Ashley Ray not happy about that one because she just allowed Thomas to drive to the basket with 2.10 to go in the second, and the B-Diggers lead 35-7. to High Plains Bank offers a wide variety of products that can be customized to fit your individual needs. See what over a century of customer service can do for you at High Plains Bank in Wiggins. And accidents and illness can strike at any time, day and night, when they do every second counts. As a Level 3 Trauma Center, Colorado Plains Medical Center is ready to handle any type of emergency. That is Colorado Plains Medical Center. So the B-Diggers with 2.10 to go. Here in the second quarter, lead 35-7 to Valley Basketball. Not too many fouls committed here in the opening half. Five by Brush, three of those by Segelke, and three by the Vikings. Jolene Rutherford the other way, bounce pass down low for Kelsey Ray. Banks misses, foul. She'll go to the line to shoot two. A couple of B-diggers were there, but the initial contact was made by Kendall Elliott, her first. However, Kelsey Ray... Has attempted four free throws, made her first and missed the last three. So she will shoot a deuce, and the first free throw is in. Frontier Academy did not reach double figures as a team until the fourth quarter. Valley's got a shot to do it here in the second. Free throw is off the back of the rim, and it bounces around no good. And we've got a foul or a lane violation. Nope, it's a violation here against Brush. Another free throw coming up for Ray. That is up. That is around and no good. And the ball is rebounded by Cami Sweeney. That's her seventh. There's the outlet to Haley Unrine into the game. Dribbling right baseline is Thomas. Nearly travel. Bounce pass to Link. She feeds Sweeney. She misses. Link with a rebound. Banks and scores. And Molly Link has been effective tonight. That's four points and six rebounds in the game. The B-Diggers lead 37-8. Minute 39 to go before the break. On the outside right is Rios. Now we've got a push. Oh, the B-Diggers got to cut that nonsense out. I mean, you're up by 29, fouling away from the ball. And that was uncharacteristically on Sweeney, who's had a monster, monster opening half. Yeah, you don't want to foul up by almost 30 points. Free throw, and the one and one is good by Ray. Second free throw upcoming. By Kelsey Ray. And that one is up, and that one is perfect. Brush 37, Valley 10. They're into double figures. They have scored five points in the first, five in the second. Outside right, Thomas with a basketball. Right corner for Sweeney. Sweeney holds the ball up high. Right of the lane, Elliott. Shot is up and in. Little 13-footer for Kendall Elliott. And the freshman scores for the first time in the game. The B-Diggers have seven different players in the scoring column. And they lead 39-10, to 10, a minute 15 to go, second quarter. 
B Diggers again still on that 2 3 on the outside left. Rios with the basketball. Dribbles by Unrai. Now picks up the dribble. Looked like a double dribble it was. Turnover number 22 for Valley. The B Diggers have committed only three. Mackenzie Bond will be checking into the game for Valley. And Thomas will throw it into Unrai for Brush. Unrein on the outside left to Thomas. Left corner for Elliott. Elliott looks to her right. Dribbles, picks it up back out to Sweeney. Behind the three-point line at the top for Link. Link to her left. On the outside left to Unrein. Penetrates, pulls up from 10. No good. And the rebound is controlled in the far corner by Cheyenne Rutherford, her third. Over to Jolene. 39 seconds to go in the opening half. Let's see if Valley takes the final shot. Baseball pass left baseline. Over to Jolene, back to Cheyenne, now to Gabrielle Rios. Rios, baseball pass to Jolene Rutherford, 16-footer, back-rimmed it. Rebound to Kelsey Ray, banks and misses. Kendall Elliott grabs the rebound for Brush. The B-Diggers could have the final opportunity here in the opening half. They've got 17 seconds to go up by 29. Thomas, met by Jolene Rutherford, now to Unrind with 11 on the high left against Rios, penetrates. Kicks it back out to Elliott in the left corner with seven. Back out to Link with five. Free throw line to Sweeney with three. Over to Thomas. She'll take the three. It's off to the right, and that's the end of the opening half. With the score, brush 39 and Valley 10. Let's take a three-minute break on 10-10 KSIR and KSIR.com. The Bay Diggers lead 39-10 to as we head to the third. Let's see who head coach Bill Nichols sends out there. Hasn't played everybody in this game. It'll be the starting five from this particular game. Sydney Odell, Callie Bills, Aurora Thomas, Cammie Sweeney, and Maddie Rule. For Valley, Cheyenne Rutherford, Jolene Rutherford, Mackenzie Bond, Kelsey Ray, and Gabrielle Rios. To throw it in will be Maddie Rule inbounding from midcourt to begin the second half Odell bounce pass outside right to Thomas in the right corner for Sweeney holds the ball up high right of the lane to Bills dribbles to her right picks up the dribble overhead pass at the top for Rule penetrates pulls up from 10 off the bottom of the rim into the hands of Cheyenne Rutherford fourth rebound the outlet to Jolene Jolene Rutherford Chest pass on the outside right to Mackenzie Bond. Overhead pass intended for Cheyenne Rutherford. Cross court thrown out of bounds. That's kind of the way the game began for Valley. Turnover number 23. And rule for Brush. On the outside right to Thomas. Had the wide open three. Didn't take it. Right corner for Sweeney. Down low. Bills turns and rattles home. It scores off the right baseline. That ball just spun around. Callie Bill scores for the first time in the game. The eighth beat digger in the scoring column. And there's a steal front court pass by Matty Rule. One on one. Now Thomas catches up all the way. Rule banks and scores. With the right hand, Matty Rule to the rack. Rule now with eight. Off the steal and turnover number 24. Valley the other way with a basketball. And Jolene Rutherford, 43 to 10 brush. Cross court pass. Intercepted by Thomas. Two on one to Rule. Banks misses and a foul. Foul was committed by Jolene Rutherford. And these are just not crisp passes being thrown by Valley. B-Diggers aren't even pressuring. They're just throwing into occupied lanes. Brush attempted just three free throws in the opening half. This free throw rattles in for Maddie Rule. She's got nine. The B-Digger lead is at 34, 44 to 10. They should be able to eclipse the 59 points they scored on Tuesday night, but they will definitely allow more than 14 second free throw swish by rule she's got 10 45 to 10 with 647 to go in the third kenzie ray into the game picked up by auto on the outside left to rios rios at the top maintains the right-handed dribble back out to kenzie ray against odal ray picks up the dribble looking spinning then the ball is tipped away by Odo, intercepted by Thomas. Ahead of the field is Rule. It goes off the official, keeping the ball in bounds. Over to Thomas. The three is up. Good! Aurora Thomas scores. That is her third triple of the game. She's got 11. Brush 48, Valley 10. 
with 6-11 to go in the third. Cross-court pass to Rios, picked up by Rule, dribbles to her right. In the left corner, here's Rutherford's air ball, but it's taken by Kelsey Ray. She misses. Cammy Sweeney grabs her seventh rebound for Brush. Steal. And here's a shot up and in. The steal by Ray. And it was put up and in by Cheyenne Rutherford. She scores the first points for Valley. The Bee Diggers turn it over for a fourth time. Callie Bills in the right corner with the basketball. 48 to 12. 5.39 to go. Lob down low for Rule to the left of the basket. Spins back out to Odo. Left wing three is around and no good. And the ball is tipped around. Aurora Thomas saves it into the right corner. She'll take a three. And that's off the back of the rim. And there's a fight for the rebound. And is that going to be a travel? Yes. As Sweeney and Ray nearly tied up. Sweeney then let go. Ray went to the floor. And she was called for traveling. B. Digger basketball inbounds to Thomas. And there's a whistle. Right off the inbounds pass. Away from the ball. Offensive foul on Sweeney. Second foul for Sweeney. 5.25 to go in the third. The B. Diggers lead 48-12. to Sweeney is out. Segelke is in. Grocery meat and fresh deli counters floral. Pharmacy, Western Union, public service payments and 24-hour gas. Your one-stop shop, Brush Grocery Card. 1302 West Edison Street in Brush. Pass is tipped into the backcourt. This will be a backcourt violation. It was tipped by the offensive team, Valley. And then they grabbed it in the backcourt so Odell wouldn't have a layup. Brush basketball along the side. Rule to throw it in. Over to Bills to Rule. Inside the three-point line. Shot is up and no good. And the rebound is controlled in the far corner by Kenzie Ray. For Valley, her fourth. She'll take it across the timeline, guarded by Odell. Maintains the dribble, baseball pass outside right to Rios, behind that three-point line, guarded by Rule. Lob down low for Ray, and her shot is blocked by Bills, but there's going to be a foul. Beautiful lob, she had position. They're going to say somebody got her with a body, was it Bills? Oh, I don't think that's a good call at all. Looked like the body and the ball were completely separated. Or just separate, period. Kelsey Ray to the line. Line drive, free throw. Good. 48-13. to 13. Molly Link is back into the game for Bills. Yeah, even Bills is saying as she goes to the bench, she didn't touch her. I don't think she did either. Second free throw, off to the left. And Segelke has the rebound. And swings it over to Thomas. Thomas, right of the lane, all the way, scoops it up off to the left. Rebound to Rule, has the shot blocked from behind. And then the ball's out of bounds off of Ray. B-Digger basketball. And a triggered end with the B-Diggers up by 35 will be Rule. Rule pats the basketball into Segelke. Has the shot blocked by Ray from about five feet away. Ball's out of bounds because Link tried to save it in underneath the basket. And it went off her hands. No turnover off the block. With four and a half to go in the third. Brush 48, Valley 13. Dribbling and then tied up by two was Kenzie Ray. As Rule and Odell were right there. Possession arrow keeps it with Valley. And just beyond midcourt, it'll be Gabrielle Rios for the Vikings. And the overhead pass is out of bounds. Cross-court pass. And that turnover is the seventh for Valley in this quarter alone. On the outside right, rule with a basketball. Down low for Segelke, right baseline. Dribbles, drops the ball, gets it right back, turns, banks, misses. And the ball is tipped into the hands of Mackenzie Bond. Only her second rebound. There is the outlet into the front court to Ray. Ray picked up by rule. Outside right to Bond, shuffled her feet. The traveling violation is the 30th turnover for Valley. And we have played 20 minutes of basketball tonight. Now under four minutes to go. Outside left for Rule. Rule at the free throw line. Segelke back out to Olo. High right. Thomas down low for Link. Double team. Turns. Bounce pass in the lane to Segelke. Puts it up and in. And a foul. Segelke fouled on the little six-footer straight away. 
Off the assist by Link. Bond commits the foul. That's her first. And Quincy Segelke to the stripe. She's got six in the game. The Bee Diggers. Let's see. They should have. The free throws off the back of the rim. Did we have a violation there? Yep. She'll take the free throw now. Apparently just shot a little bit too quickly. Now that free throws up, and that is no good. And the rebound controlled by Ray. Stolen by Rule. She banks it in. Rule read that pass underneath the basket beautifully in the backcourt. Another turnover. That's 31 52 to 13. Been a long night here for Valley at the free throw line. Rios backs up, picked up by Rule. On the outside left, Rutherford bounce pass to Bond. Banks and scores to the left of the basket. Mackenzie Bond has four. Brush 52, Valley 15, 318 to go in the third. Odell right of the lane, back out to Rule. Rule at the top for Segelke. Segelke picked up, then she dribbles by a defender, puts it up from seven, no good. The rebound controlled by Mackenzie Bond of Valley. That's her third on the outlet to Ray. We've got three minutes to go in the third. Kenzie Ray against Matty Rule. Overhead pass on the outside right to Rios. Lobs it inside for Chelsea Ray, or Kelsey Ray, I should say. Loses the ball. Loose in the floor. Picked up by Segelke. And then over to Molly Link. And she's basically, wow, looked like she was tackled back there. But it went off her hands out of bounds. Well, it'll go to Valley. As the teams ex- essentially exchange turnovers on an ugly sequence. Rios to trigger it in underneath the basket. Lobs it inside. The shot by Rutherford is off the bottom of the rim. Molly Link grabs her seventh rebound. There's the outlet to rule. 2.38 to go in the third. Brush 52, Valley 15. Bounce pass outside right for Odell. Near the top, intended for rule, stolen away by Kenzie Ray with one to beat. Rule in front of her. Shot is blocked by rule. She went for the layup. To the right side. Outstanding play there by Matty Rule. Here's Odell the other way to Rule. Straight away fakes the three steps and 15-footer. Good. Matty Rule scores again. She's got eight in the quarter, 14 in the game. Brush 54, Valley 15 with 2.05 to go. She had a defender in the air, and that allowed the lane to be open for the pull-up jumper. Kenzie Ray just beyond midcourt. Lobs at free throw line intended for Rutherford. Poked away by Thomas. Then it's loose now in the backcourt after being touched by Thomas. Ray has it. Three-pointer blocked by Rule. Taken by Ray. Puts it up and in. And that was Kelsey Ray that time who scored off the deflection. Here is Odell the other way. Shot blocked to the right baseline. Foul by Kelsey Ray on that quick pass into the front court. Sidney Odell will go to the stripe. Minute 41 to go. Third quarter. And the Bee Diggers lead 54-17. Looking to find insurance for your car, home, or even for you? Engmeyer Phillips Insurance has two locations, Brush and Fort Morgan. They can help you with your home, car, health, or life insurance questions or provide a quote. Engmeyer Phillips Insurance, the first free throws off the left side of the rim. Haley unrinds in for Matty Rule. Second free throw upcoming for the sophomore Odell. And that is up, and that is short. Gabrielle Rios has the board for Valley, her second. There's the outlet to Ray. Kenzie Ray met just across the timeline by Odell. Outside left for Rios, picked up by Thomas. Maintains the dribble. Lob inside to Ray. Turns, shoots, short from about six feet away. Ball's knocked out of bounds off of Segelke on the rebound. Valley retains possession. And Ashley Enojos. Checks in for the Bee Diggers for the first time. Thomas is out. Rios to trigger it in. Looking down low. But the Bee Diggers now having defenders in front of the offender. Dribbling right baseline as Ray pulls up. And she's fouled on the little, what, 10-foot rainbow there. More of a rainbow because she was fouled by Molly Lenker first. Kenzie Ray to the stripe. Free throws in the air, and that's off the back of the rim. With a second free throw to come. Your family safety is the main concern at Smart Parts. So let the trained professionals take care of you when you need a windshield repaired. 5-2-2, 5, 5399 
Let's see it. Let's see if that's Morgan Barfus into the game. I'll we'll confirm there. Second free throws off the back of the rim and off to the right. And Quincy Segelke gets the rebound as Amber Stratman into the game for the B-Diggers. On the outside right, Enojos with a basketball. At the top now for Segelke. Outside left to Stratman. In the left corner, Unrein penetrates. Double team. Bounce pass cross court to Enojos. She picks up the dribble over to Stratman. Shot is up and short. Little 12-footer missed by Stratman. Ray has the rebound for Valley. Her fifth. That's Kenzie Ray. We've got 55 seconds to go in the third. B-Diggers lead by 17. How about 37, 54, 17. Rios left of the lane. Bounce pass. Bond turns. Banks misses. And the ball is knocked out of bounds. And one off Segelke. Valley retains possession of the basketball. As the clock now reads, 44.9 seconds to go. Kendall Elliott, a freshman, is in for Quincy Segelke, a senior. And Rios will be throwing it in for Valley. Lob into Bond. And it looks like a push right off the inbounds pass. And an offensive foul committed by Kelsey Ray. First foul, 11th turnover in the quarter, 33 in the game. Enojos for Brush, across the timeline on the outside right. Picks up her dribble, right corner for Elliott. Bounce pass, kicked out of bounds by Jolene Rutherford, intended for Link. Along the right baseline, and to throw it in will be Unrein. Unrein, pats the basketball. In the right corner for Stratman, bounce pass back out to Link. Dribbles left of the lane, in the lane. Double team that she traveled prior to the pass to Enojos. Turnover number seven for the B-Diggers. Four of those in this quarter, which they have still controlled, outscoring Valley 15-7 to as we approach the... 25 second mark of the third. Ray spins into the front court, picked up by Unrein on the outside left of Rios. Lob down low for Bond, poked away by Link. Taken by Rutherford, though, in the corner. Back out to Kenzie Ray, crossover dribble in the lane, scoops it up and misses in a foul. B Digger foul was committed by Haley Unrein. And Kenzie Ray. Who is 0 out of 2 from the stripe in this quarter. Has two points in the game. Will shoot two. We are at the top of the hour. This is 10-10 KSIR. Brush Fort Morgan Greeley. And KSIR.com. The first free throw is in. Brush 54. Valley 18. The B-Diggers will have one final possession in the third. Second free throw is up. Off to the left. Rebound to Kelsey Ray. Throws up an air ball. And then Kendall Elliott grabs it for Brush. Over to Molly Link. We have eight seconds to go. Haley Unrein's pass is knocked out of bounds by Ray. That would be the guard, Kenzie, with 5.8 to go. Three-quarters court along the side. Unrein will throw it in. Unrein looking at the free throw line for Elliott. 15-footer in and out. Rebound and put back by Hinojos. is good at the buzzer for Ashley Hinojos. And we have played three quarters in Gilcrest. It's Brush 56, Valley 18. How about a one-minute break on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. It'll be Thomas Odell, Sweeney, Bills, and Matty Rule as we begin the fourth. I'm John Beltran from Gilcrest and Valley High School. The Lady Bee Diggers lead the Vikings 56-18. Mackenzie Bond, Jolene Rutherford, along with Kelsey Ray, Gabrielle Rios, and Kenzie Ray. Brush basketball to begin the final eight minutes of action. Odell on the outside left of the chest pass to Rule. Left corner for Bills. Back out to Odell straight away. Thomas into the lane to Sweeney, but then dropped the ball. Loose, picked up by Bills. She's on the floor. Bounce pass towards Sydney Odell. She couldn't handle it. Goes out of bounds. Brush commits their eighth turnover of the game. That's been Valley's issue with 33. Kenzie Ray met by Odo. Boy, she's really close to her. Got to watch out. Not commit a ridiculous foul 40 feet away from the basket. And then the pass is intercepted there by Bills over to Odo, who banks and scores. Odo was wide, wide open on the other end. Odo now with five in the game. Long pass inside to Kelsey Ray. She's fouled by Sweeney. First 
for Sweeney. That is going to be her third. Oh, they're going to say Rule instead. Check that. That's her first. Inbounds pass towards Kenzie Ray. 58-18 to brush, 7.15 to go in the game. In the right corner with the basketball is Jolene Rutherford. Bounce pass right base on the bond. She turns, she misses, and Cami Sweeney has another rebound. That is her ninth, nearly a double-double, just one shy. She's got 12 points in this game all in the opening half. Otto on the outside left shuffled her feet. That's a traveling violation. And turnover number nine for Brush. Now the Bee Diggers will be facing some competition here at some point. I mean, they have earlier in the season. Obviously, they've got a couple of league losses, but now they're just making it too easy this week. Rios on the outside left towards the corner, double team. Jump pass to Ray. Ray at the top. Down low for Kelsey Ray. She's double team. Bounce pass to Jolene Rutherford in the corner. Back out to Ray. Dribbles, pulls up from seven around. No good. Aurora Thomas has the rebound for Brush. She wants her to take it by herself across midcourt and does. Thomas bounce pass outside right for Odell. Odell at the top for Bills on the outside left for Thomas. Thinks about the three, won't take it. Dribbles to her right. Cross court pass to Odell in front of the beat digger bench. Lobs it cross court for Rule. Left baseline, left of the lane. Kicks it back out to Thomas. Overhead pass cross court to Odell on the high right. Odell overhead pass intercepted, poked away by Bond. That was an errant pass. And Kenzie Ray has got it for Valley. 15-footer to the right of the free throw line. No good. Ball is tipped by Ray into the hands of Sidney Odell of Brush. And then we got a timeout. Called by the B-Diggers. Brought to you by Greg Mullen at State Farm Insurance. When you're looking for someone to walk you through the insurance world, turn to the office of Greg Mullen and Brush. Home Auto Life and Health. State Farm is there for you and your family. 842 845-55, 45-55, The Valley boys lead in brush. It's been a struggle for the Bee Digger boys, but they're very young. And even some of the seniors they've got have not seen a lot of varsity time as they try to avoid a 2-7 and seven start. Here we've got six minutes and two seconds to go in the game. And it's been all brush from the opening tip. As was the case on Tuesday night. And they lead 58 to 18. Stratman, Segelke, Hinojos, Unrein, and Elliott for Brush. Hinojos on the high right to Unrein. Looking to Segelke into the lane. Now she's double teams. Got to get out of the lane and does. Swings it right side to Elliott. Fakes the three. Steps in. Ten footer is going to be short. And the ball's out of bounds. That is off of Valley's. Gabrielle Rios beat Digger basketball. To throw it in will be Unrein. Lobs it into Segelke. Drops the basketball. It's loose. Still loose. Segelke has it off a tip. Stratman outside right to Elliott. Back out towards Segelke at the free throw line. Now to Inojo, 16-footer off to the left. And chasing down the rebound of the corners, Haley Unrein. Unrein to Elliott. B-Diggers will reset. Inojo's outside right, Stratman. Shot is up for the right side and no good inside the three-point line. Elliott tips it out of bounds. Valley basketball. We've got 5.23 to go from Gilcrest. And there's Kenzie Ray the other way. Overhead pass right side to Jolene Rutherford. Bounce pass down low for Kelsey Ray. Foul from behind by Segelke. That's going to be the team's sixth foul. Segelke's fourth. Yeah, that's the only thing got to watch out for. The B-Diggers committed, I believe, nine or ten fouls in the second half the other night with a humongous lead. Bounce pass inside, went through Kelsey Ray, intercepted by Enojos. B-Diggers the other way. Here's Haley Unrein, a one on three. Tried to put up a shot. She did what was fouled and missed. Well, the aggressive move paid off despite not having the numbers. And Kenzie Ray commits the foul for Valley. That's her second to the stripe will be Haley Unrein. She has not scored tonight. Free throw off to the left. The Bee Diggers have nine different players in the scoring column. Kelsey Ray is out of the game, so they lose some size there. And Cheyenne Rutherford back in. Second free throw back rimmed it. 
Rebound to Jolene Rutherford, her fifth. On the outlet to Kenzie Ray. Jump pass, front court to Rios. Rios dribbling towards the left corner with 4.52 to go. Straight away to Ray, penetrates right of the lane. Right corner, Bond, 15-footer off the back of the rim. And Amber Stratman with a strong rebound for Brush. On the outlet to Elliott. Elliott setting up the offense. Lobs it left corner for Segelke. Inside the three-point line. Shot is up and around. No good. Rebound is loose. Nobody grabbed it. Elliott almost had it. And the ball was poked away by Mackenzie Bond out of bounds. B-Digger basketball. And to throw it in will be Unrein. Unrein lobs it into Segelke. Little six-footer. Yes. Right there on the right side by Segelke. She's got eight. Brush 60, Valley 18, 4, 22 to go from Gilcrest. Baseball pass, cross court intended for Rios. Intercepted by Enojos, two on one. And she stripped away by Kenzie Ray. They've got two on three. Ray right of the lane, leans as the shot blocked by Elliott. Taken away by Enojos. Here's Amber Stratman dribbling left hand back out to Enojos. Hinojos crossover dribble at the free throw line. Back out to Unrein. Under four minutes to go towards Elliott. Didn't look for the pass. Instead, it deflects off her towards Segelke in the left corner. Penetrates left baseline underneath the basket. And she dribbled the ball on the baseline out of bounds. Rush is now committed there. 11th turnover of the game. And coming the other way for Valley is Kenzie Ray. Met by Haley Unrein. At the top, picks up the dribble, swings it right side to Rutherford. She pick, They're picking up their dribble and having no lanes, and that's part of the problem with the turnovers here. Kenzie Ray to her right against Unrein, bumped, lobbed down low, intercepted uh, temporarily, but poked away, taken by Valley. And then that entry pass poked away by Unrein, intercepted by Segelke. Segelke, a two on three, all the way. Banks and scores to the right of the basket, running out of angle. Segelke still managed to put it in. Brush 62, Valley 18, a 44-point lead. They won by 45 the other night. We've got 3.07 to go in the game. Rios lobs it down low for Bond. Segelke right there. Then her bounce pass, cross court, intercepted by Kendall Elliott. And that is the 38th turnover and a 30-second timeout brought to you by Greg Monet State Farm Insurance, called by Bill Nichols and the B-Diggers. I don't know if he wants to make substitutions. Tonight he has played 10 players, make it 11 in the game. And we've got two minutes and 59 seconds to go. We'll have a B-Digger player of the game coming up. Shortly thereafter, there's been a couple that have stood out. Actually, about three that have stood out. Defensively, they've all stood out. Yeah, I don't know how much this week helped Brush. I mean, just way too easy. I mean, you like to see victories, but... We know that Brush is good, but they're not that good. If they were that good, they'd be leading the Patriot League. They're still a quality basketball team. There's no question about it. They're going to have double-digit wins this season, not 10 or 11, probably closer to 12 or 13. But they're on that second tier of 3A teams. They're not a Sterling. And they showed the other night, uh, last week, that they could have beaten Eaton. They lost that game in overtime. And they stayed with Sterling for a while back on December the 18th. And that game was in brush. They'll meet again in Sterling. In the left corner, Stratman with a basketball. Looking to her right as the ball poked away. Elliott chases it down near midcourt. Dribbles to her left. Left corner, Stratman. Bounce pass, left baseline. Link back into the game. Turns, banks, misses. And Gabriel Rios grabs the rebound for the Valley Vikings. That's her third. Into the front court, Ray with a crossover dribble. Lost it, got it back. Baseball pass over to Jolene Rutherford. Rutherford against Haley Unrein. Straight away to Ray. Ray, cross court pass, poked out of bounds by Stratman as she went to the floor intended for Rios into the Valley bench. And the Vikings to throw it in. Rios gets it into Ray. Ray at the top, left side to Rios, looking down low, lobs it to Bond, has Link behind her, and then her outlet pass is poked away by Nojos, but taken away by Valley. Back to Ray. 
Ray against Unrein, and then Unrein picks her pocket, and then she's fouled in the backcourt. The team's sixth foul, so no free throw for Haley Unrein. Instead, Ray commits her third, and it's turnover number 39 for Valley. Here is Enojos for Brush. Back out to Unrein. Left corner for Elliott. Double team. Lobs at free throw line. Link wide open. 15 footer. Yes. Molly Link scores. She's got six to go along with the seven rebounds. She's got in this contest. And Brush leads by 46 64 to 18. Outside right is Jolene Rutherford with a basketball. Dribbling right baseline. 10 foot runner is no good. Haley Unrein goes for the rebound and grabs it with two hands. There's the outlet to Elliott. Elliott with a minute 38 to go. Across the timeline, bounce pass left side for Unrein. Dribbles to her left against Bond, left baseline for Link, and the ball was lost by Link to Mackenzie Bond. Fifth turnover of the quarter for Brush. Twelfth in the game, a minute 23 to go. Mackenzie Ray spins it into the front court. 15-footer is going to be a brick, and the ball's into the hands of Mackenzie Bond on that long rebound. And what do we have here? A full timeout called by Valley. All right, I guess uh, hopefully that's the clear of the bench. It's got to be. We'll keep it right here with 74 seconds to go. And brush up 64 to 18. And Valley has not scored in the fourth. Brush held Frontier Academy to a goose egg in the first quarter. They're 74 ticks away from doing that to Valley in the fourth. Brush has not a, had a huge offensive quarter, only eight points. They had 24 in the first eight minutes of the game. No substitutions for the B diggers, but let's see if Valley does come in with fresher players. The Vikings will have the basketball. Both teams have committed six fouls in this half. Yeah, we'll set up the beat digger schedule here coming up shortly. There's the inbounds pass to Rutherford back out to Jolene from Cheyenne. Entry pass to Bond. Cross court pass to Cheyenne. 15 footer left baseline. No. The rebound and put back by Rios up and in with a left hand. So those are the first points of the quarter by Gabrielle Rios with one minute to go. Kendall Elliott, bounce pass at the top for Haley Unrein. Free throw line, Link. Link back out to Elliott, fakes that shot. Outside right, Enojos, now to Stratman. Bounce pass, right baseline to Elliott, lost the ball out of bounds. Sixty-four to twenty. Lady B Diggers will play once again coming up on Tuesday. They'll be home to Platte Valley. Here is Rios, right baseline towards Bond in the corner. 30 seconds remaining. Bond right baseline to Rios, picked up by Enojos. Now to Chelsea Ray, or Kelsey Ray, and she's fouled. Seventh team foul, she penetrated. And the B Digger foul from Molly Link. It's her second. Kelsey Ray to the line. She's got seven points to lead Valley. Free throws in. Second free throws upcoming. With brush up by 43 in the game. And that one is up. Perfect. Nothing but string for Kelsey Ray. 22 seconds to go. Enojos back out to Elliott. I don't think the big diggers are going to take a shot here. Over to Stratman, right side to Unrein, right corner for Enojos. 12 seconds remaining, right baseline link, double team. Then she had the ball stripped, but she was fouled. So Molly Link will go to the stripe for the one and one. And it was Gabrielle Rios with her second. The junior bends, shoots, hits it off the back of the rim. And the ball is loose. Kendall Elliott chases it down, puts it up, and around and good off the back of the rim and in. For Kendall Elliott, that should do it, and that will do it. 
The Bee Diggers win the game tonight over the Valley Vikings in Gilcrest. 66 to 22. Let's take a one minute break. We're back in a minute. We'll wrap it up after this on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. John Beltran back in Gilcrest, a dominating performance by the Lady Beat Diggers tonight as they beat the Valley Vikings convincingly by a score of 66 to 22. Welcome you into the Beat Digger Post Game Show, which is brought to you by Mr. D's Ace Home Center with three locations to serve you better. Sterling Brush in Fort Morgan, your headquarters for all your home, farm, and ranch supplies. From plumbing to feed, Mr. D's Ace Home Center. Bee Diggers led 24-5 after the opening quarter, 39-10 at the break. Outscored Valley 17-8 in the third for a 56-18 lead. And then 66-22 was the final as they got 10 points to Valley's four in the final eight minutes. Visiting Bee Diggers had four players in double figures. Talk about balance. Maddie Rule with 14 points, 12 for Cami Sweeney. Aurora Thomas with 11, Quincy Segelke with 10. Next up in the scoring column, Molly Link had six. Sydney Odal with five and two apiece for Callie Bills, Kendall Elliott, and Ashley Enojos. Four Valley. Kelsey Ray tallied nine, four apiece for Mackenzie Bond and Cheyenne Rutherford. Kenzie Ray had three in the game and two for Gabrielle Rios in the waning moments. 39-13 to 13 was the edge, unfortunately, for Valley. They had 39 turnovers, brushed with 13, only three by the break. When the game was well over, Valley was out rebounded by Brush, 35 to 28. Tammy Sweeney had nine rebounds, seven for Link, and Valley had six rebounds from Kelsey Ray. At the free throw line, neither team shot well. Valley was seven out of 15. The Bee Diggers even worse. They were four out of 11, so not even reaching 40 percent from the line. But it didn't matter in this particular game. As Valley dropped to 2-4 and four in the Patriot League, 3-6 and six overall. And the Bee Diggers continue to play well. 5-2 and two in the Patriot League, 6-3 and three on the season. Tough game coming up on Tuesday as they'll entertain Platte Valley. Meanwhile, the Brush Boys trail 57-53, a minute 13 to go against Valley in Brush. Bee Digger Player of the Game is brought to you by Cargill Beef, committed to feeding the world in a responsible way by reducing environmental impact and improving products and processes. Learn about Cargill's story of commitment at Cargill.com. Got to give it to Cami Sweeney tonight, only because of the balance. Maddie Rule played a heck of a game. She's been the Bee Digger Player of the Game before and will again. But Cami Sweeney, with the 12 points and 9 rebounds, is the Bee Digger Player of the Game. You can always follow us on Facebook. On our 1010 KSIR Sports page or on Twitter at KSIR Sports, we upload the audio as well, not only to Facebook and Twitter, but to YouTube for those who are not on social media. We just put a a Beat Digger insignia there, an emblem, the logo, and then, of course, that's accompanied by the audio. That's our KSIR B106 channel on YouTube. Outstanding job, as always, by our sound engineer and producer, Julie Garcia, I'm John Beltran. The final score from Gilcrest. The Brush Girls win by 44 tonight, 66 to 22 over the Valley Vikings on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com.